Hello and welcome to this May 21st, 2010 video version of Invested Central's Chart of the Day. I'm Tom Boley, Invested Central's Chief Market Strategist, and it's my pleasure to provide you with today's Chart of the Day. This Chart of the Day is brought to you by StockCharts.com, simply the web's best financial charts. Well, today we're looking at uh, gold relative to the S&P 500, and I've gone back a decade just to give you... Um, a little bit of a uh, history here in terms of how gold has outperformed the S&P 500. So all we're doing here is taking the price of gold and dividing it by the S&P 500. You can see back early in the 2000s uh, we were at about one-fifth. Gold was about one-fifth of the S&P 500 and now with gold up close to $1,200 an ounce and the S&P 500 beneath that we've actually seen this ratio rise to over one. Um, couple of things that really stand out to me. Uh, again, this is on a relative basis. So it doesn't mean that gold's always going up during this period, but on a relative basis to the S&P 500, it has been rising. But take a look at these moves to the upside. Uh, there have been a few parabolic type moves rel on a relative basis. Uh, 2000 to 2003, early 2003, we had a big move up. And then we went sideways where, the, where gold kind of out, uh, underperformed or maybe just kind of equally performed with the S&P 500. And then we had a breakout to the upside, a relative breakout. And that, <coughs> excuse me, that led to more uh, strength in the short term, uh, in this case over the course of the next year. Then we went through another one of these type, uh, a flag type patterns to the side uh, for about a year. And then another breakout, another big move on a relative basis. Once again, sideways this time for about six months, another breakout to the upside. And what we've seen over the course of the last year is actually gold from uh, the first quarter of 2009 to, the, to early in 2010. We've seen this flag pattern, uh, a relative flag pattern, where gold has actually been underperforming. But take a look at this breakout here to the upside. Uh, just over the last couple of weeks, few weeks. So gold is once again establishing a, uh, a leadership position relative to the S&P 500. And I think we need to take note of this. Um, the other thing is take a look at the relative MACD, which is the moving average convergence divergence. Each time we have seen the MACD start to point higher, that's coincided with some very nice action uh, to the upside in the uh, relative performance of gold. Notice what's taking place right now as we made this breakout, this relative breakout out of this flag. Notice the MACD has come back above the center line and is pointing straight up. Now we don't know exactly where this is going to go, but I wouldn't be surprised to see gold on a relative basis make its way back up to um, the 140 area. Now if you believe in this relative ratio, then one way to play it is, if you like to play pairs, is to simply be long gold and short the S&P 500. Um, you know, that way, uh, you know, you, on a relative basis, if gold outperforms, even if they're both going up, if gold is outperforming, that strategy should net you a profit. Um, we're not really big into doing the pairs, but I know that that is a trading strategy that a lot of folks like. And on a relative basis, you can see that gold has been outperforming, once again making a relative breakout. Um, I do think in the near term, I wouldn't be shocked. I mean, we do have, even when we make breakouts, we do have periods where we pull back for a period of time. So I wouldn't be shocked to see gold and S&P 500 maybe move back to about a one-to-one -one ratio. But eventually, I do expect that gold is going to push back higher. And again, I wouldn't be surprised to see us hit that 1.4 to one ratio between gold and the S&P 500. I hope you've enjoyed our presentation today. Be sure to check out our chart of the day every day at investedcentral.com. While you're there, sign up for our free weekly Market Pulse newsletter and have the chart of the day emailed directly to you. Happy trading.